Paul, I just wanted to show you uh, the speed slot in the transom of your boat that increases the speed to 10 mile an hour. <laughs> uh, and then uh, a couple of things that uh, uh, Taylor noticed. Um, we were looking for a uh, blower. We didn't find one, so we had your seats out while we were planning how we might install one for you and route the hoses and so forth. Uh, so on the floor, a couple of things. The flooring actually comes up short of reaching the back seat. It actually ought to go under the back seat just a little bit. And then here's the gap he was talking about at the edge. And we have a similar gap over there on the other side. So we think we'll probably just replace these floorboards. Uh, that might be the fastest way, uh, which I think we talked about that we would buy new plywood, marine plywood for that. And then there's supposed to be a hatch right here. That should be cut right along where my line is, my fingers tracing the line. And then on the other side also that would be cut and this side right here would be removable so that you can examine and adjust your uh, prop shaft log without having to take up the floor or remove the, uh, the engine hatch. And then the other thing that we were looking at was the, uh, that's your one information on, was what the switches do. And it does look like also you have a place you can put a USB charger in. Uh, that does appear to be a uh, um, a cigarette lighter. So uh, let's see. Okay, that's light. That's spotlight. That switch is, and the spotlight can be moved with this uh, with this control right here. That's instrument lights. And should be should be your nav lights and or your anchor light. Nav light didn't come on, and of course the anchor light, uh, the pole is not installed, so we got a little bit of an issue there. And uh, then we have the cigarette lighter, and of course the key switch. And then that other light, that is a light right here. And that tells you when you're in neutral. That's for your neutral start switch so that you can't start your boat unless you are in neutral. So um, uh, the knob on the other side is an aircraft throttle. And that is how these uh, speed controls were done on these boats in, the, in that era. era. Uh, that is correct. That is a a correct method and then of course the knob that looks like a turn signal is actually your uh, here's a better picture of your aircraft throttle uh, the knob that looks like your turn signal is actually your gear shift forward you know forward up for forward and down for reverse uh, so um, anyhow we'll do a we'll do a switch in stealth mode uh, for the uh, for your um, uh, bilge pump and also for your blower so it's kind of interesting I guess I, I see why the manual bilge pump was not hooked up and that was because there was no switch on the dash for that so we'll have a we'll have a we'll put uh, switches where they're hidden so that the boat appears to be completely original but that you can reach very easily just by reaching under the dash. And, uh, uh, and so that's, that'll be how you'll, uh, how you'll turn those on. And let's see what we got for gauges. We have an amp gauge, an oil pressure gauge, a fuel gauge, and a temperature gauge. Oh, and a tachometer in the middle. All right. Uh, hopefully I didn't jerk this around too much and make you sick. <laughs> so it looks like we've got uh, nav lights to work on and install two switches and uh and install the blower all right talk to you soon and i got your list by the way by email so if i left anything off of that when i just regurgitated the list uh i'll be referring to the list to make sure we get it all done thank you